is up family so somebody texted me this morning and asked me if i had seen this 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 channel <laughs> now if you know what channel i'm talking about i'm not talking bad about the guy don't think that what i am doing is bringing something to your attention um he just recently went out and bought a motorhome had like seventeen thousand dollars for a motorhome and now he's looking at you know things as signs from god and he's going to jump in his he mentioned jumping in his van or motorhome and moving to Missouri because Missouri is passing a law that nullifies federal law, which is the Second Amendment Preservation Act. But that's not what it does. The, he, I could tell by this listening to him the way he talked about it. He's never read it. He's just going off of what he has heard from other people. And this is the problem in the country today. Don't believe anything I say. If I tell you something and it interests you enough, you go do the research yourself. You do the footwork. You find out everything you can find out about that topic. Second Amendment Preservation Act. Um, I occasionally talk to Patrick, and Patrick is one of the this many people, you know, about this many or this many people that are involved in creating the Second Amendment Preservation Act. Like, he was literally sitting at the table when it was written up. The Second Amendment Preservation Act does not nullify federal law. In the end, that is the goal. As of now, and if it passes now, that's not what it does. What it does is it says that state and local cops cannot help the feds in apprehending, prosecuting, and investigating somebody within the state. And if they do, then they can no longer be a police officer in the state. So what does that mean? Nothing. It means the feds are going to do what they do now. Look at Justin from key cards. The, the local cops wasn't involved in that. The ATF raided him. So it, once, now the end game, the goal is to eventually put in, add to the law, and, you know, if federal agents are caught in the state enforcing federal law, they will be arrested under whatever, and they're going to face a big, you know, penalty and shit. As of now, if the Fed, now, as of today, if this was to pass, what's going to happen is if the Fed's come into the state and arrest you, like they're going to do anyway, like they do now, you can then sue them civilly. Great. Tell me how that works out with you after you, at the 10 years. You do go do 10 for something stupid and you get out for 15 years or 20 years. Thank you, baby. Um, tell me how that works out for you. I mean, it just it has no teeth now, and that's the problem with it. Um, I have multiple problems with it, but that's one problem with it. My other problem with it is, is now you have government um, creating laws to try to fix laws. No, we just nullify the bad laws, or we repeal the bad laws. Uh, realistically, what could happen is instead of the governor signing the Second Amendment Preservation Act, he can just call the White House and say, look, any federal agents caught within Missouri, we're going to arrest and charge them as domestic terrorists under state statute. But they won't do that. Do you know why they won't do that? Because it doesn't put money in somebody's pocket. That's why. Plain and simple. To speak, my point is this. I'm not saying he's a bad dude. I'm not talking bad about him. So, Catherine, don't go over and, and say, or whatever your name is, and go over there and tell him I was talking bad about him. That's not what I'm doing. It was like I wasn't last time somebody said that bullshit. Oh, I'm just saying. Net, if somebody says something that interests you, you do the legwork yourself. You, before repeating it to anybody, do the legwork yourself, find out all you can about it, make it an opinion about it, and then state your opinion. And then if you state your opinion and somebody hears it and they, they like what they hear, they like the idea or they're interested in it, they need to then go do the same thing, do the legwork, do all the research and find out about it. Misinformation, or rather... It's not, I don't want to say misinformation. That's not the correct term. Um, I guess incomplete information and people's willingness to spread that information is partially responsible for destroying this country. I mean, we got helicopters flying around. Something happened. There's a bunch of cops up here from. Hey, look at our black squirrel. What's way over there across the street? Damn, those are my black squirrel. I always feed. He's way over there. Um, but um, incomplete information and people spreading that, you know, it's like you, you see it every day. You know, just like my Second Amendment rights or that person doesn't have rights. They lost them. You know, like it's just people um, repeating what they've heard and doing zero research on the topic. You know, I hope nobody just moves to Missouri because they th think they're creating a law that's going to nullify federal gun laws. It's not what it does. But anyway, guys, have a good day. Uh, stay safe. Stay armed, y'all.